Okay, today we're going to look at how we can find an image using Google so that we can use it for project learning or anything really if you want to add an image to a Word file, PowerPoint, but you may need to edit it. So what we're going to do is learn how to find an image and then put it into Photo Impact. So I'm going to look for an image, Spider-Man or Spider-Man. So we enter that into Google. When Google opens up, it generally will give us options, images, everything. So we just click on images. Then we choose the one we like. I like that one. We right click it, right click, and then save image as. And you can save it in the picture library or you can save it on your USB or basically anywhere you want. But just remember what you've done. So we save Spider-Man. Save. Now. I need to then open it in Photo Impact. So we go to File, Open. Luckily for us, it's open straight into my pictures, but you can change that if you need to. Just up here, look in, scroll down. If it started with an S, it'll be near the bottom somewhere. There it is. Select it, double click, and there it is. It's open. So you have your first picture. Um, you can then obviously open more pictures and combine pictures and do all, all sorts of other things but we're not going to go into that right now so file and open now you'll need to save this so you can save as spider-man and you can put that maybe you can make your own folder you've got my pictures or you can make a folder for yourself using this one create a new folder and you can put um, photo impact impact examples. So we're going to use that one. I'm just going to save it in there. And so I just go okay. And it's done. And so yeah. Now if you want to do things with photo impact you have many 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 different tools stamp tool you put apples everywhere whatever you like so so many different things you can do but of course we want to find something that's going to be useful okay so then you just save that save yeah so that's all done um enjoy and we will look at some other interesting aspects of photo impact in the next lesson uh, okay so